Hi there. I can understand that many of us are worried and it, it, it is a worrying time for all of us with this coronavirus. And I just wanted to encourage you to uh, trust God through this. Do you know, when you get a computer in the early days, I don't remember if you can remember when we first bought computers, one of the biggest challenges was having a virus and uh, people were panicking. You know, what are we gonna do if we, our computer gets a virus? And then the trick was to download an antivirus software. And so I thought I'd recommend some antivirus reading for us, which is in the scriptures. But I'm serious because we're in serious times and real change requires taking radical responsibility. And I wanna encourage us all to pray for our communities, to pray for those who are vulnerable, to pray for those who are struggling with their immune system, recovering from cancer or on chemo, any people who are in a vulnerable situation. And also pray for our NHS, our local doctor's surgery, and for emergency services. Pray for God's protection for them. We've been praying at church for this uh, coronavirus not to impact our community, to pass over it, and just not uh, have anybody who's who will die from it or be infected with it, and if they were to recover very quickly. Did you know there's 365 promises in the Bible where God says, do not fear, fear not, don't worry. And there's a sense that every single day brings worries for itself. Now we're worried about working. If we can't work, if we catch this virus, we maybe can't provide for our families. Uh, we don't, don't want to infect people if we caught it who are vulnerable. And I'm encouraging you to take the government's advice on hand washing, self-isolation if you fear that you've become in contact. I mean, you know that. But I also want to encourage you as well to really spend this time reflecting on who and how you can pray. Because the only way that we can truly get through this and be supported fully is asking God to help us. So I'd like to read a psalm to you to encourage you. I'm sorry if the, the volume's not great. There'll be other times I might record indoors or we'll try and get a microphone. But if you can stay with me for this on our first recording, Psalm 91 says this. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrows that fly by day nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name he will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now, if we look about it in gender neutral terms, him is he or she or all of us. God wants to partner with us and be with us through this to comfort us. I'd like to pray for you now. I'm going to start putting out more of these to encourage you in our community to try and trust God and to take away any fear. So may we pray. Father, I pray for all those who are listening to this and all those in our community. First, I pray for protection for the whole of the Hildenborough Parish. 
for the protection against this virus. Father, I, protect, I pray that people will not catch it. But for those that might do the in and out of the parish, I pray that they will be uh, able to get through it not to, with not too bad consequences for them. It might be like a bad cold, but nothing horrible will happen and they will make a full recovery. Father, I pray for those listening now that you will encourage them and comfort them. And I pray against any fear that you have in your life. I pray that fear to go away. I pray for any anxiety to go away. And Father, I pray now, who, who, is, who is listening to this, whoever's listening to this, that you would fill them with your love. Come, Lord Jesus, come Holy Spirit, bring your peace bring your love, bring your shalom, that sense of unbelievable peace in the midst of a storm. Peace where we wouldn't normally have, but God gives us this peace. Lord, would you give it to those who are listening? Let no fear overwhelm them. No, let, no, let no anxiety overwhelm them. And I pray for any sense of fear, despair or panic to be gone from you or your household. And I pray for the love of the Lord to protect you and the full arm of God over you and that you will not catch this virus and you will absolutely get through this in Jesus' name.